Hi folks, it's me, Gleb Alexandrov, uh, answering the question, how is it going? I just want to share with you a progress on what I do, on what we do with ID Burrows, and I mean the new hard surface modeling video course that we are working on at the moment, and it's still a work in progress, but we see the light at the end of the tunnel, because we have already pre-planned everything, basically, and have already recorded uh, about a quarter, I guess, of the tutorials, and believe me, this will be huge, huge, huge thing. Uh, the first part of the series will be aimed at the beginner users. Imagine tips and tricks type format, a bite-sized tutorials on various hard surface techniques like sub-D modeling, Boolean workflow, procedural style, then something else, modifier essentials for hard surface modeling, that type of thing. Uh, I know that many people, including you probably, suffer a lot when it comes to hard surface modeling designing and engineering, machinery, robots, there are so many different problems. When it comes to Boolean workflow, like the topology that you get after the Boolean operations is usually a mess. So basically you need to wear a mesh doctor hat and, um, and just go and fix things manually. And we will show this process from start to finish. By the way, let me show you a sneak peek at this new video course by me and A.D. Burroughs. Just look at this. Wow, something like this. Here are some images with our nodes. And I wonder, will we be able to tell what's going on in this screenshot? And if you are familiar with Boolean operations, I think you will recognize the overall shape. And this is just a regular close up of the model that we are making. Something in between a Torfric type of robot and the Vitaly Bulgarov type of robot. I would put it like this, a bit stylized, but very detailed. I'm deeply excited about this course. It will be huge. I can't wait to share more info with you. And meanwhile, while we're still in the middle of production of this video course, I recommend you watching uh, Jerry Perkins tutorials because his amazing hard dobs add-on is largely based on non-sub-D modeling, on Boolean operations, and Jerry walks us through fixing uh, shading artifacts, near-miss vertices, and other very common problems. I recommend you go to Master Zune YouTube channel and watch everything. If you're interested in mastering hard surface modeling, spend a day or two just watching his videos. Believe me, that will be very beneficial. And the other video course that I really want to pinpoint is Meshmaster by Penfinity. Uh, let me Google the title really quickly because I'm afraid that I mispronounced it. Meshmaster Penfinity. And you will see the link right now. Yes, I was right. The Meshmaster, the out of the box Blender 3D modeling course. The description of the trailer for this course says, get ready for a never before seen way to 3D model. And I would definitely agree. It's a hardcore modeling training for advanced Blender users, I think. Uh, so, all right. Other thing that I wanted to mention briefly is real-time ray tracing demo uh, by Epic Games. And actually there are some other demos, but Epic Games really crushed it. Uh, the real-time ray tracing technology was introduced by Microsoft in the new DirectX. And of course, while the consumer grade Hardware can't really handle this technology right now, but Epic Games showed us the demo of uh, ray traced reflections running on four voltas, which is quite impressive. But what's even more impressive is the sheer quality of visuals, practically indistinguishable from, say, cycles rendering, or in general, indistinguishable from non real time path tracing, which is, which is mind blowing. My mind, I. I I've been dreaming about real-time ray tracing since I was a kid, for my entire life, basically. I've been dreaming about it. And now it became the reality. Let, let's put it like this, it's slowly entering into the realm of possible. So we can expect this technology to become available for all of us over the course of the next, say, two years. Get ready, practice in cycles. By the way, Eevee, the real-time render engine of Blender 2.8, also has uh, some uh, ray tracing modules built in, like for calculating screen space reflections or screen space subsurface scattering. And it's very funny, but actually when we say hard surface, what do we mean? I, what do we mean? I asked this question on Twitter and let's read some replies because it's very funny, I think. And Rafael Sanchez, Planes and angles, right? 
makes sense, a tone of free topper, semiotical illusion of functionality through the sculptural assemblage of geometrical abstractionist entities. How cool is that? Anything that doesn't deform in an organic way. Something I can't do, but so badly wish I could. Cars and robots. Precision stuff like internal combustion engines. Any products are which needs controlled surfaces and tension in the edges. Complexity made by a distribution of simple elements. One word. Objects. More boolean, less subdivision. Mm, that's probably arguable, but, but still. Giant robots, guns, spaceships and airplanes. Frustration at cutting sharp holes in curved surfaces. Okay, and the last one. Pain in the ass. I can feel you, bro. Okay, the next bit of news. 100,000 subscribers on Creative Shrimp. I mean, on my YouTube channel. Coming soon! And that makes me the happiest nerd in the universe. Yes, amazing. I said it a million times. It feels good. I feel, like, I don't know, privileged or entitled to create content for you guys. And it's an ongoing project. It's very interesting to watch how it is developing. The future is bright with all these new technologies. And we'll be talking about all of them. And we'll be showing all of them how to use everything and create a f great visuals in real time. That's the goal. That's the goal. And ultimately, someday we will create a game. The future is bright. And here is the question of the day. Feel free to answer in the comments. Is Half-Life 2 the best first-person game ever? Join the discussion in the comments below. Press like, subscribe and stay tuned for the amazing hard surface modeling video course. That was Gleb Alexandrov. Thank you for your time. Drink more coffee. We'll change the world of computer graphics one day. Fantastic Beasts 2, Crimes of Grindelwald coming soon enough to become excited about it. Too. Uh, 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 uh.